Hi, as a trader, we are basically doing any one of these two things. We are either looking at the directional setup where we are taking trades uh, and making uh, and making uh, uh, making returns on the market moving in our direction, or we are looking at a non-directional setup where uh, we are we are we are uh, we are going having no bias about the direction. And if in case the market uh, stays range bound or it expires at the same point, in that case we would make money. Now, is there a way by which we can mix these two type of uh, two types of uh, setups and make one setup where we are we are taking a direction uh, we are taking a directional bet and at the same time, if the market stays range bound, even in that case we are able to uh, able to either have a small loss. Or exit at a no profit no loss situation. So let's let's try and build one strategy today using the option wizard, which is basically a mixture of two different uh, two different strategies, and see how that strategy can help us uh, trade a positional setup. Now this strategy will basically be on Nifty, and I am trying to mix two different strategies, which is basically a bull call spread and a short uh, strangle. So the bull call spread will take care of our directional setup. So I'm I'm having a bullish view, and I will use a bull call spread. But you could use a bear put spread or a bear call spread as well for a bearish view. So we will we will look at this example from the perspective of a bullish view. Now for for a for a bull call spread, we would basically be looking at two different uh, strike prices in the call options. Now one call option strike that we will take would basically be. Uh, an in the money strike and one call option strike that we'll take will be an out of the money strike so let's say if if our uh, if our directional uh, direction is bullish we would basically be uh, we would basically be buying uh, buying one particular call option which would be in the money and because it is in the money its premium will be much higher and we will be selling one one call option which will be out of the money and because it is out of the money the premium will be much lesser now in a bull call spread what tends to happen is that your your amount of your your amount of profit that that you are making on an on an atm uh, uh, atm plus and minus uh, uh, particular strikes uh, the amount of profit you would be making when you are right and the amount of loss that you are making when you are uh, when you are wrong in terms of the direction will be pretty much the same so let's say if if to take an example if you are making 1000 rupees of profit Uh, uh, when when you are right about the direction, you'd be making the same thousand rupees of loss when you are wrong in the direction, provided you have selected uh, the strikes which are equidistant from the ATM strike. Now, um, what can we do about this so that we can we can make more profit when we are right about the direction, and if we are wrong about the direction, we would be we would be uh, make making a less amount of loss. For that, if we mix this strategy. with something like a uh, with something like a short strangle we are able to achieve a unique spread which is basically a mixture of these two strategies so what is a short strangle a short strangle is basically uh, basically two different uh, two different uh, uh, calls and a put uh, that you are that you are shorting at an equidistant point from the atm strike so um, uh, let's say if if the atm is at uh, is at 20000 Uh, if you are shorting a call which is which is at let's say uh, 21000 and you are shorting a put which is at let's say 19000 in that case the 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 shorted call and the shorted put are both out of the money at this point since both these call and put are out of the money we are basically having a small premium to collect but the probability of of the market moving outside that direction is also very less so when we mix these two strategies we basically get a spread which looks somewhat like this now in this spread when you uh, what what the the strikes that i am using are basically atm uh, so for my uh, for my uh, for my bull call spread i am basically uh, buying an atm minus 3 uh, minus 3 uh, strike uh, which will which will be a call the in the money call will be atm minus 3 uh, or an in the money 3 strike uh, and the 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 call that i'll be selling will be an out of the money 3 strike uh, uh, which will make my bull call spread and at the same time i will be using uh, uh, an an otm uh, otm 6 uh, 6 uh, call and put uh, strike for my uh, for my short uh, strangle now when i do something like this i am able to uh, generate a, a point which will be my green zone 
which is uh, which is uh, which is a, a large amount of profit that i'm able to make if i'm correct about the direction and if i'm incorrect about the direction i'm missing i'm making only half the loss so if you see my max profit out here is close to 9700 but the max loss uh, the loss that i'm making in case i'm wrong about the direction is close to 5200 uh, for that particular uh, spread now in your um, you would say that uh, that after beyond these points beyond these points you would have a uh, have a maximum uh, maximum loss so it could be an undefined loss for which since we are using an algo strategy we could easily have some kind of a, a strategy level target or stop loss that will basically avoid such such kind of a situation so now let's see how do we build this kind of a setup using the option wizard uh, on tradetron so for that i will go to the uh, go to the option wizard and in the option wizard i will basically uh, go to create my own strategy so i'll select create my own strategy and in your i'll add a name to my strategy which i will call let's say india because i'm a very patriotic person um, in your i will select uh, my underlying as nifty i can add a capital and i will select my type as positional now this this setup is basically a setup where i will enter on a friday every friday i will enter and i will exit on the uh, on the weekly expiry which will be thursday of uh, that particular uh, week so in your i will first select my segment so i'm selecting a call and i'm selecting uh, a buy so i'm first doing my uh, my in the money or uh, three strike that i will buy so in your i'll select itm3 and in my expiry i'll select current week expiry and i'll select one dot and i'll add this this will basically give my in the money uh, call that i want to buy now at the same time i also want to sell one particular uh, sell one particular call to make up this kind of a uh, this kind of a um, bull call spread so for that i will select my strike and in your i will select out of the money so when i select otm3 i'll select my weekly expiry and i'll click on add out here so now i have basically added my uh, strikes for my uh, for my bull call spread at the same time i will also add my strikes uh, for my uh, for my short strangle so now i will want a call sell but i will want it at a uh, otm 6 level so i'll select out of the money 6 call and i'll click on add and i will select a put now and i will select my strike as otm 6 so and i will click on add so by default what this is doing is that it's making a short strangle um, and it is making a bull call spread uh, given that these two are equidistant from each other uh, i will be able to uh, i will be able to make uh, i will be able to have us have a spread with, where uh, for for the next next few days if the market falls by 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 2% or more then i will have an undefined loss territory or if it rises by by 2% or more in that case i will have an undefined loss uh, territory but if it it increases and it increases gra gradually within the 2% range then i stand to make a big amount of profit and uh, half of that profit uh, can can be the max loss in case the market uh, goes against my direction on the downside which we saw uh, using this uh, this uh, chart out here so now i have built my uh, built my option setup uh, on the option wizard and i will select my entry time as 10 o'clock 10 o'clock on a friday and to select friday i'll basically remove all the other days and i'll select friday out here now um, in order to add some kind of a risk management i will basically have my mtm uh, stop loss as an amount which i will uh, have uh, as per my max loss during this two percent criteria so i can see this 5200 is basically the loss figure which i will uh, incur in case the market goes up to 2% down. So I will basically have my MTM stop loss as basically 5200. So when I have this 5200 as my MTM stop loss, I'll basically be able to uh, exit. My algo strategy will exit uh, whenever this 5200 is achieved, which wouldn't be uh, too often given the uh, given that uh, I am uh, given that my strategy is is a combination of a uh, of a of a strangle and a bull call spread. Now in your, I can select my exit time, uh, which in my case, I would have, let's say, 15, 20 as my exit time. And I will select my ex exit on expiry as yes, because I want my strategy to basically trigger an ex exit on the expiry day, which will be a Thursday. And now I will save the strategy. 
So this strategy basically, uh, this strategy was an illustration of how you can build, uh, you can use two different types of sprints, mix them together and combine them to make an even more powerful spread that gives you better control over a directional uh, setup. And uh, it is also able to sustain for you during a non-directional time. Now, again, these numbers, um, uh, OTM3, ITM3, are, are all numbers that I've used based on my discretion. Uh, you could choose to have uh, have different numbers and test it with different numbers and see uh, what works best for you. As usual, this same strategy will be available in the link in the description. You can uh, choose to duplicate this strategy, test it with your own numbers and, uh, and see what works best for you uh, by paper trading it or by backtesting it uh, over a long uh, period of time. So I hope this video helped you. If you have anything else that, uh, that you want us to cover in future videos, feel free to drop it in the comments uh, or, uh, or reach out to us on email and I would be happy to uh, help you uh, build that uh, same strategy in future. Thank you very much. Goodbye.